Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Uh, maybe a little light here would be nice and uh, get this thing out of the way. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm really ready for this, right? Okay, look. So, the Avengers Infinity War trailer is out. Not really, it's the teaser trailer. That's okay. You know what? This is going over here because deal with it. Okay, so check this out. It looks great. Why is my energy level not high? I've been up all night. Today's new comic book day, guys. Come on. So, uh, plus the, uh, uh, the Hulu Runaways just came out last night. There's some crazy stuff going on. And, uh, like, Marvel has so much, there's so much Marvel stuff out. I like to do my comic book reviews. I'm mostly always doing Marvel comics because there's so many of them. There's mostly, uh, uh, what do you call them, doing TV reviews. It's mostly Marvel because the Marvel stuff is the stuff that's just, bow hitting you. And it's like, it's, it's, it's right there. You have to do it now. And even my explained in the minutes where I'm explaining storylines or characters, it's usually Marvel right now because all the Marvel movies coming out. Guys, there's a bit of a Marvel overload, and yet we're all still excited. <laughs> now, could we possibly burn out? There's a chance, but I'm just up all night, so <laughs> that's why my energy isn't great. Now, I don't do reaction videos. You're not going to see a whole bunch of, you know, oh, I, I, I tried that in the past, and it's just, it doesn't, it, it doesn't go well with me. Now, I saw this trailer several times, and it looks amazing. Again, it's just a teaser. They're not giving you a million different things. Um, they're going to do the Banner uh, Silver Surfer arc. Nice. Which one? Um, uh, what do you call it? The um, we, we get to see... Jeez, speaking of Banner... The trailer pretty much begins off with a little bit of a, hey, 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 wake up, Marvel, you know, trailer. And then the the, the music, that really epic music, where it's just, you know, what is it, like three chords? Dun, 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 and just, there's something about that. I like that. You know, they've always said you get three chords, and then you're going to have something epic, and just, you know, put that on repeat, something like that. You think about, like, the Halloween theme song, dee 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 like that, you know, like, all these different things, like the, the, the Jaws theme song, you know, it's like all these different things, you, you get it, and it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just, that's the thing about scores, that's the thing about getting some kind of a catchy beat for a movie, three chords, boom, you're good. So they've got that down pat. They're literally playing everything by the numbers and they've done it so many times you figure it's not going to work anymore. Yet somehow, have you guys been looking at Marvel um, on um, YouTube? I mean, like they can't put out anything without a million different, you know, Infinity War trailer. Where's my Infinity War trailer going crazy? Well, here's a teaser. Here it is. And people are still going crazy. <laughs> About one hour ago, in one more minute, it'll be one hour ago that the thing came on. There are more views on there than most people have got on their channels. On that one video, that one teaser, it's not even a full trailer. We're six months out. <laughs> There's been leaked footage like crazy. The leaker himself commented on one of my videos, which was pretty impressive. <laughs> and, and verified over on Reddit, same email address. That's the dude. <laughs> Commented on my Twitter also. Um, awesome. Everybody's stoked for this. So what are we seeing right now? My favorite part that I'm seeing is that thing where everybody's coming out of the, the, the forest in Wakanda. You got epic speech. I mean, you, you got to expect there's going to be a lot of epic speeches with all the people who are out there. All, all, all the, the characters who are involved in this. There's so many characters involved in this. This is a huge movie. Now, here, the, some of the speeches are being so. You know that Iron Man is going to be making a lot of speeches. Will there be a recantation speech? You know, sorry, uh, you know, I, I my drunkenness has caused all this, you know, craziness. People going nuts and people getting angry at me and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. But you're guaranteed to have some Captain America speeches in there. Seeing him come out, first off, the vision. Doing the whole Paul Bettany thing, not a huge fan. <laughs> I'm sure it's just some kind of reality manipulation that Wanda's doing to his face. Um, Scarlet Witch, uh, Scarlet Johansson, um, uh, Black Widow. <laughs> There's too much Scarlet there. As a blonde, not feeling it. Not feeling. It. Maybe it'll 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 you know pick up when I'm actually watching the movie. Maybe I'll, you know I'll be okay with it. But for now, it's like eh, looks more like gray hair as opposed to blonde hair. But whatever, whatever. Um, 
Captain America with a beard. I might be a little bit biased, but yes, yes, I'm definitely feeling that. Black Panther coming out and saying, uh, uh, what does he say? Uh, evacuate the cities, arm the battlements, and get that man a shield. Ah, oh, are we going to actually see a little bit of the, the armor wars here? Just a little bit where he gets that uh, fully adamantium shield? No, it's not going to be adamantium, but maybe it'll be like fully vibranium. They can do just as well or better. Highest technology in the world is Wakanda. So who knows what we're going to see? Um, who knows? Who knows? The little bit that they gave us doesn't give us a whole lot. What it does give us is Thanos punching Tony Stark dead just a cold clock boom, with the Infinity Gauntlet mostly full. Oh, man. Now, here's the thing. Here's the big thing. This is going to be like a, a damage control thing that I hope that more YouTubers are going to be doing, more reviewers are going to be trying to do. The damage control of this looks great. We are hyped. There's going to be comparisons made, okay? We know the mistakes that have been made in other companies, another comp in the freaking Justice League movie, okay? The idea that we've got we got these movies that we don't know. We just had this Justice League movie. People were not hyped about this latest character, this latest bad guy, Steppenwolf, who should have been a major player, and we don't know who the next bad guy is. But in the Marvel movies, we've known who the main bad guy is going to be, in the Avengers uh, Infinity War for a couple of years now. <laughs> and we're no less hyped when we're finally seeing him. This is how you build up. And like literally, this is just one of those things where if DC is taking notes, if Warner Brothers specifically, you can't blame DC for this. This is Warner Brothers. If Warner Brothers is taking notes, this is how you build up Darkseid. This is how you build them up where you don't get to see them. You get to see little tiny bits. Oh, there's some leaked footage. People are building up their hype. Show me, show me. And finally, here's this little trailer, this teaser trailer. And they have him coming out of this little poof of smoke. You know, like he just teleported down. And be, like the the few things that he said, you know there's going to be a lot of speeches. Josh Brolin is going to be just barking out some speeches and it's going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy. His little thing about, you know, oh, life sucks and then you die, this this sucks and then you die, all these things, you're all going to die. But this brings a smile to my face. Oh, man, are you kidding me? I'm dying. Seeing stuff like this, I'm dying. This is how you present a bad guy, a big bad, in a movie. Overarching. Something that's going to last. Something that's residual. Now, here, here's the big problem that I'm seeing is if Thanos dies in this movie. Or in, you know, the next movie. Can't die. Actually, he could because death. Make a deal. Come on back. The idea, though, is Marvel needs to stop killing off their bad guys. <laughs> um, we're going to wind up seeing Dormammu coming out pretty soon. I'm certain of it. It only makes sense. <sighs> this, there's not a lot here. There's not a lot here. And I'm going to wrap this video up very soon. There's not a whole lot here. But what is here? I don't think there was a single scene that was shown that didn't get everybody here amped, everybody here hyped. Wakanda is going to be a major uh, backdrop here, and obviously this is going to be a setup for the Black Panther movie. When you look at the Black Panther movie, and you see that um, uh, Claw, Ulysses S. Claw and everybody else is going there, it's looking like, and this is what I'm really expecting here, this is a major foreshadowing I'm seeing, Wakanda is going to get messed up. The way that New York is constantly being messed up, Wakanda is going to get genuinely messed up. Like as if Namor just threw a tidal wave over there with uh, one-fifth of the Phoenix Force power. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about there. Phoenix 5, anyone? So, um, I have a feeling Wakanda is going to get seriously messed up. Their defenses will be down. The whole city is going to be brought to its knees. And they'll stand again. But this will open up a lot for the Black Panther movie, why they're able to be um, defend, uh, why they can't, they couldn't defend themselves as well against this oncoming threat. This it's practically an internal threat. Uh, that's the big thing that I'm looking at. You know why people are going to be able to challenge T'Challa uh, for his throne? Be like, you know, you you let uh, the, it, aliens come into the, the country. We've never been invaded by aliens before. It's an omen. You know, whatever they're going to say. This is the major thing that I'm looking for in this movie, is that this is in the process of setting up what's going to come up next. And I don't feel like it's going to deplete for the movie at all. It's literally going to be an in-the-moment. But 
when we're watching the movie, look for things like that. Look for things that are going to lead to the destruction of um, the decimation, at the very least, of uh, Wakanda. So decimation, one-tenth. <laughs> I'm going by the original definition. Anyway, guys, this looked great. I'm amped beyond belief for this. Uh, some of the things in the comment really quick. We get a movie about Wakanda and fall in love before uh, Jeopardy. I, uh, Kevin Feige is a genius. I agree. Uh, Geek Fortress, she isn't blonde because she's she was hiding. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it may have been she changed her hair color for that. Good, good observation. Uh, four minutes behind for some reason. Hmm. Uh, Luminous Girl, uh, Luminous Girl, hey, uh, so, um, Carolina Dean, what's up? I finally stopped shifting, uh, shitting out Brussels sprouts from Thanksgiving, um, glad. <laughs> um, just watching in Booyah, Raven, out in Australia, awesome. Yeah, again, guys, this is looking really good. Um, I'm hyped, I'm hyped at the same time. Let's also let's also watch for what's coming out because there's going to be some good stuff coming out. When is the actual trailer going to come out? I don't know. I don't know. But this was nice. The Rooster Brothers, you know, dropped us a two-day uh, warning hint with that Shrek 2 <laughs> on Twitter uh, or Instagram, whatever that was. That was awesome. That was very cool they did that. Um, anyway, this is just, it's just going to keep going. So, yeah, I'm hyped. I'm hyped to see this. All right, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. I got some comic books to read. Class dismissed.